previously on My Career Monday. And as you heard right there, my guy got an offer from Nike or Jordan, and I chose Nike to sign my shoe contract, and I wasted absolutely no time customizing my own LeBron 10s. And right here, the nasty behind the back in and out crossover to hit the cutting Andrew Bynum for the layup. We go to Toronto in a tough road game and pull out the victory in the end. As you can see here, I make my way to the free throw line and hit the free throws to seal the deal. And the people that watched were so impressed, they gave me the cover of 2K Sports Magazine, just getting me more publicity and helping my uh, teammate. What's going on guys, this is EC Jackets and welcome to My Career Monday Episode 5. If you watch Episode 4, you know that the 76ers had a lot of momentum going into our next game against the Houston Rockets in Houston. It was a showdown. Time to go out there and ball, man. Ain't no stopping us tonight. None, baby. It's on. Yeah. And that is right. There ain't no stopping us. As you can see, start off the game early, early on. The dish to Andrew Bynum, which is completely unstoppable. Then later on, an easy two-hand jam in the lane. Check out this instant replay. The 30-inch vertical straight off two feet. Let's get a couple more angles. Then a little bit later, working on the other end of the ball, we're talking defense here, come down the lane, and the two-hand posterizing jam over Tony Douglas. Don't do that to him. That was fantastic. <laughs> wow. And Clark, the degree of difficult major. Mm. Oh, my God, get out of here. That was a filthy dunk. Later, come down the lane again. Woo, I'm still feeling it. Later on in the game, hanging on the rim there a little bit, trying to celebrate after the jam. And draw a pretty lopsided game through the first half. 76ers lead by 19. And that is right. At halftime, we're already up by 20. Come out in the third quarter and waste no time attacking this weak defense. Jeremy Lin, go home. Then a drive to the hoop, and they still can't stop me. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Easy win for you guys tonight. Did you see that one coming? Yeah, man. I thought it was pretty clear the second I stepped out on the court. I make teams win, baby. Always have, always will. When you're born a winner, that kind of thing just happens all the time. At this point in my life, it's like clockwork. I expect to win no matter what I'm competing in. And tonight was no different. You saw the result. You want to disagree with me? So we're playing great right now, and I decided to go ahead and meet with the general manager and say, you know, I really appreciate what the coach is doing. Yeah, I'm really happy how coach is handling things with this team. Uh, I really feel like he has the attention of the locker room. This is a great thing for this franchise. We think he's doing a great job as well. The team is heading in the right direction, and he has our full support. No doubt. All right, well, uh, thank you, and uh, good talk, man. I'll, I'll see you later. But for right now, I need your focus on this next game against the Hawks. I know you'll be ready. So as you heard him say right there, we have a huge game in Philly against the Atlanta Hawks because this is a giant game for us because the Hawks are a pretty good team. And as you can see, they wait until the second quarter to put me in the game. I was really disappointed, so I wasted no time hitting Jason Richardson on the sick alley-oop trying to get our team sparked off the bench. I come down on the very next drive and another alley-oop. Call me Chris Paul out here because it's Lob City. I mean, I'm throwing alley-oops everywhere. Oh, uh, woo, that's filthy. As you can see, we come and at halftime with the five-point lead. But don't take them for granted. Come out in the second half. It's a physical game. As you can see, Kwame Brown getting hacked by Josh Smith. I come in with the offensive rebound, try to go back up. And I'm getting beat up too, but I get up off the ground and keep playing tough. Then, later, next drive, come down the court, give him a pump fake in the lane, go up for two, keep my team in it, baby, let's go, we're pumped up. The game is going back and forth early in the third quarter, trying to keep my team in it, such a close game, finishing right over Deshaun Stevenson, he can't handle this, he can't handle the truth, ankle breaker, hit Jason Richardson for three, Bang! That is what I'm talking about. And as you can see, Jason Richardson thinks he's Kobe, comes down the lane, misses the shot. Then on the other defensive end, guess what happens? 
and the call will be against Jason Richardson. With us down by two, we give the ball to Drew Holiday, a.k.a. Mr. Clutch, and he goes down the lane for two. Devin Harris covering. Holiday attacking. Sinks it. A huge shot to tie it up. On the way back down the court, he hits a tough contested floater in the lane. So, they give me the ball. Underneath the hoop. It's in. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. As you can see here with the sick hop step in the paint to tie it up at 108. The Hawks get the ball. 11.4 seconds left in the fourth tie game. Williams up on top. Into Smith. It's good. No. That one just took the air right out of the crowd. Yeah, he simply said, sit down and keep quiet with that one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nothing coming out of these fans now. And oh my God, we missed the shot at the end. Drew Holiday with the three-pointer. It's no good. And we come out with the loss. As you can see, me shaking my head in the locker room. Can't believe we lost that game. We should have won. I don't know how we let it slide. Your shot was falling all game long, but the team wasn't able to ride that to the win. What do you think happened out there? And as you can see there, I try to say that we played our best. They just came out on top this time. I'm not really sure, truthfully. I thought I played all right. The team seemed to be playing okay, too. I guess the other team was just better. That's what it comes down to most nights in the NBA anyway. Who's the better team at that particular moment? Probably nothing we could even do about it, really. The stars just didn't align for us this time. And I think maybe if they didn't wait till the second quarter to put me in, we might have came out on top. Who knows? You know, um, I was happy with the GM after we were on a winning streak, and then he takes me out and doesn't put me in until the second quarter. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, I thought I was playing good. I guess not, but we'll see what happens in the upcoming episodes, guys. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of My Career Monday. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.